So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you why most newly licensed life insurance agents are getting taken advantage of as well as if you are a life insurance agent right now why you might be getting robbed right in front of your face i want to share with you some of the things that i've learned about this industry that i wish i knew before i jumped in this industry as well as i want to share with you some of the truths that can hopefully help you save thousands and thousands of dollars now the reason i make this video is because i care about you the reason i make this for you is i have nothing to sell you i don't want you on my team i don't want to recruit you i just want to simply hopefully help you make money in this industry but the reason i got this video idea is because people have called me this week, last week, that have jumped in this industry that were told they're gonna make 30, 40, $50,000 a month and have found themselves in a worse position after trying this business for two, three months and losing more money than they can actually handle. People have called me and said that they can't pay their mortgage. People have moved across country to try to build this business that had to move back with no money, that don't know where they're gonna live. And most importantly, a lot of people will even quit their six figure job jump into this industry are told and so convicted that this is their way out that this is their way to you know freedom this is a way to you know financial stability that don't make more than five thousand dollars a month and don't know what to do themselves and i just want to share with you some of the truths that can hopefully help you understand if you are or or not taking are being taken advantage of in this industry I don't want you to lose money. I care about you. And a lot of people won't tell you about this when you're a recruiter's bringing you into this business. And a lot of people just won't really tear with you some of the real things about this business. We're here to keep it real and I've been on both sides of the coin. When I first got started, I lost 10, 15, $20,000 my first two, three months in this business, writing bad business, getting chargebacks, you know, not knowing what I'm doing, you know, losing clients here and there, all these different troublesomes where I realized like, damn, this industry is really, really hard. Um, where I'm now at a place where I'm able to make twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month off my personal pen and selling final expense life insurance from home, and I absolutely love the industry. So I want to share with you some of the things that I've went through, how I've been manipulated, as well as some of the things that you need to watch out for as a newly licensed life insurance, or if you're an agent right now who's absolutely struggling. If you've been brought into this industry and you're not getting the results that you desire or you thought you're going to get, I just don't want to sugarcoat anything that you simply might not be that good. I want to share with you, if you are not making money, if you don't know how to figure things out, if you're not good on the phone, if you're not business minded, if you're not hungry and willing to put in 12, 14, 16 hours a day grinding, selling life insurance, that you are going to get smacked in the face and you are probably going to hate this industry. But your recruiter won't tell you this. The people that bring you into this business will not tell you the real things about this business that I just want to share with you because they are just simply trying to fill a seat. Well, the first thing that I want to share with you is that you don't have much leverage. And if you're getting taken care of, taken advantage of, you will know this if you've been brought into this business and you've been told all these things that you're going to have the best leads, or you're going to do this, this, and this, and get this result, and you have not gotten that result. And you've done literally everything step by step. And most importantly, if you have not gotten the support from the person that's brought you in, you realize something's fishy. People will bring in this bin into this business. They'll promise you, they'll say that they'll over deliver, they'll get you started. But once you start getting some trials or some tribulations and you don't know things and you go to ask some questions, your upline won't respond to you and you'll be literally asking yourself, what just happened? I was told all these certain things. If I do this, this, and this, I expect this result, yet I'm not getting the support that I have. So if you're not getting the support right now as a newly licensed agent, if you're in this business and the person that brought you in this business is not holding your hand, not guiding you, I want to share with you that you're probably getting taken advantage of. Secondly, there's a lot of people in this industry that are simply trying to make money off of you. I want to share with you my personal experience. I got in this industry and some of the easiest people to manipulate, the easiest people to take advantage of. And why this industry can simply manipulate a lot of people is because, you know, they're looking for people who are hungry, who are going to basically have this big dream of their vision and this is going to be their way out or their ticket. And they'll bring you in this business and once you start failing, they're gonna have some type of solution that's gonna change your business. I spent $7,000 on a marketing course that was supposedly gonna change my business. I listened to the speech, I got sold the guy, and when I needed help, no one responded to me. When I didn't get the results that I was promised, no one got back to me. And I realized that I was basically just crushed. They made all this money off me and they didn't care about my results. And then I bought another two $2,500 package. All right, this is the way out. Peter, let's do it again. Another $2,500. Just like that, and $10,000 of my money that I've saved and earned since the little boy mowing lawns was gone just like that because I realized that other people just wanted to make money off of me. Now, to see if you're getting taken advantage of in this industry, if your upline or your business sells that you can only use these certain leads, you're probably getting taken advantage of. What I realize is a lot of people have their hands in different pockets and you as the recruiter, you as the agent are helping them get to their goal. You are simply building someone else's dream. Now, the way that I share this is because someone called me and said, Hey, my upline is telling me that I can only buy these leads. If I don't buy these leads, he's going to turn off my contracts and I'll never be able to sell everywhere again. 
completely unethical. You are your own business owner. You are a 1099 contractor, yet your upline is telling you that you can only use these leads and they can only use this CRM. They can only use these packages. I wonder why. It's because they are simply making money off of you. One of the things that I've realized is that a lot of these big agency owners at the top make money off the things that their agents use, their CRM, the leads that they buy, all these different systems that can t- contribute to all this extra cash flow that helps them make them rich. What makes me wonder, are they actually making money selling life insurance? Or are they just making money off the recruits? And that's where my mind kind of shifted. What I want you to understand is that they have these big agencies that you're getting recruited and you are simply just another number. You are another butt in someone else's chair. They have three, four, five, six overseas recruiters that are bringing people into this business. And this is the only industry where you can get hired for a job, can basically get a license, and if you do not succeed, they will still keep you around process that. Imagine if you worked in a job and you absolutely sucked, you lost them money, they would simply fire you. But this is a place or a, a business where they will continue to push belief. Well, they will tell you that you're going to just, you're just going to keep buying leads, that you got to keep doing this, that you got to keep doing this. And they will sell you these false promises and they will take advantage of you. And simply, instead of just simply saying, Hey, Peter, dude, this business is not going to work. You have no skill set. You have no way to talk to people. You have no idea what you're doing and you have no shot. Maybe try something differently. But these people will have their hands making money off how many recruits they bring in. They have all these different uh, funnels and systems and that they were going to make money off of you. So as a newly licensed life insurance, agent. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. You might be getting taken care of. And I see this in one last area. People will simply try to sell you courses when you need them. People will try to recruit you into new models. People will try to give you the best comp or people will try to simply tell you, Hey, try this course or buy my lead package or, you know, go to my seminar or, you know, watch this video or pay me for this. And all some of the guys that I looked up to some of the biggest stars on social media that you know who I'm looking, I guess, referring to or referring to out there is that they simply are just trying to make money off of you. They're not actually building an insurance business and they just want to make money because you have the money and you're desperate. So, My goal for you is to share with you my experience, the truth about this industry, because I don't want you to not be able to feed your family. Again, I have nothing to sell you. I don't want you on my team. I just want you to understand, like, am I getting taken care of? Am I getting, you know, taken advantage of? Am I down the right path? Do I have good leadership? Am I going to be able to make this work? And I want you to have a real conversation with you tonight. Are you cut out for this business and can you make it work? And if you can put the grind in, if you can work the 14, 15 hours, calling people every day, putting in the hard work, absolutely, you know, just grinding every day, you can make this business work. But this is not a get rich quick scene. This is not some type of way that you're going to make all this money. And before you quit your job, before you go all in, understand your skill set, understand what the reality is. And I hope just be the face or the interface for your true beliefs and hopefully help you make money in this entry. I love you guys. Again, I don't want to discourage you. I just want to share with you Hopefully someone here who is thinking about quitting their job or someone who is thinking about going all in, who doesn't have the skill set, who doesn't have the right guidance, who doesn't know the truth about the industry, that this video could save you. Because if I jumped in this industry and I saw this kid, Peter, with this weird hairline talking about, you know, the truth about this industry, I probably would have not quit my job so fast and I would have really tried to figure things out before I went all in. But for me, I was told and I was told that, hey, this is the way out. I fell into the trap. And most importantly, I realized slowly but surely a lot of people that I thought were making a lot of money were not making a lot of money, and I don't want you to be one of them. There's this big illusion. There's this big out dream out there, and I don't want you to be taking advantage of it. I love you guys. I truly care about you, and this could be a great vehicle. I went from not knowing how to you know, even make $5,000 in this industry to changing my business, to changing my cash flow, to buying the right leads, to learning better systems, and you can do this too if you're willing to work. And most importantly, uh, you're really, really hungry. Again, you guys mean a lot. I hope this video brought you a ton of value. Take care. Cheers. Peace.